hey now welcome to the to the second section this section is about um, the c to b this is what is the c to b now the c to b is where a customer sends money manually to a from a from a customer sends money to a business via a pay bill number or a till number to to a certain organization now if you want to confirm the transaction if it's successful you can use this api now this api works perfectly on manual when you want to pay manual via the mpesa toolkit then so that you can trans uh, you can check if the transaction is successful or it has failed now this is this section it's about it's um, a bit tricky and it will take time to understand but i have this i have this i have this diagram which can explain on how the c2b works let me add here something and the c2 let me add let me convert it to black the c2b so this is how it works or let me know how mpesa c to b works now i'm going to explain on how this i'm going to explain on how it works so this is how it works now the he is a user this is an mpesa user and when an mpesa user let's say the mpesa user pays mm, let's add another thing here let me do this let me add uh, another thing mm, no let's not add let's explain you this now when an mpesa user pays to an organization pays to an organization Mm, to a certain pay bill number now the transaction is sent to the mpesa server now the mpesa server when the user pays to the b2c the transaction enters the mpesa server now the mpesa server will check where the pay bill number is registered now when you want to register you will register on a certain url now this for example for this organization they have registered their they have registered their pay bill to this https example.com stroke register url this means that this they have registered here now when they have registered it means that the confirmation url this is where the transaction will be sent so when a user sends money to the organization the mpesa server will check where the pay bill organization has been registered so that it can send the transaction data to that organization on your organization for this extent it's your server where you're hosting your mpesa so you will have to register the you'll have to register the url for your server so when each and every time a user sends money to your to your pay bill or till number the mpesa server will always check where the pay bill has been registered so that it can send the, the json response for the successful transaction so you can receive here so first you have to register your server the exact url where you want the exact url where you want the the where the transaction where you want the transaction to be sent after each and every transaction has been done so you have to register so to register the url will will create a register url then in the register url is where you will declare that you want this is where my transaction my successful transaction will be sent so you will register the server using the register url then you will declare where you want the successful transaction data data or information to be sent so this is how you register your server 
now when you come here to the raj api the c2b you can see a register url now you, it means you want to register the url where your service is located and where safaricom will always send this the mpesa safaricom will always send the information of successful transaction now click here when you click here you will get here an customer to business register url and this is the request url you will use get now this is where i've done the all the requirement for registering your url now as previously every api when you want to call it will always include a will always include an access token like any like this other request so let's use this one now this is this is the access token now the access token will give this value to this variable now let's do this now you'll get the register url now here this is where you'll get the register url then paste it here now this when you register this when you load this this url on where you you want your your safaricom pay bill number till number to send information we'll paste this register url for example for us we'll come here to our server then we'll add where we want it to register this is where you want it to register we want to register the server so that when this transaction is sent to this pay bill we'll get the information on this domain now this is where you will replace your domain name <coughs> you'll replace your domain name so that when each and every transaction is sent by a user it will be sent to this to this domain of which in our example it's this domain this is where all transactions will be will be sent now let's register the server you come here then you do this take this then you paste this when you reload that's when you are registering the, the server it has it needs to re return this response to mean that you have registered this server successful so in production mode when you register this and it and first you'll get this successful response but when you try to register it, it will say this url has already been registered now let's go to the code here now this confirmation url whenever a transaction is sent it will send to this confirmation url let's say like here c to b c to b response dot json this is where the mm, the this the successful transaction data will be sent so that you can come here and query them then you can get the you can get the information now you're going to which you are going to store in your on your database now in the next video i'm going to show you on how i can stimulate I can stimulate the C2B so that we can check on how how the the C2B works. But for now, um, just doing this is it means that you have registered here. You have registered your server. This server. You have registered this server of which, uh, for our case, it's our local host. You have registered this server as the server that will receive as the server that will receive each and every successful transaction that will be done to this short code now we're going to stop there see you in the next video where we are going to stimulate the c2b so that we can get the data which has been sent by this user the information of this user which has been sent to this server on this url and the validation url you will get will get the same data as what we'll get on your confirmation url but the validation url will get it as a txt that it would be stored here that's why 
to destroy on your validation let me write here c to b c to b validation txt here this is where the information will, will be stored in form of txt but on confirmation it will be sent it will be stored as a json data so see you in the next video